It's a fine pass. Vladimir Smitzer's clever finish. The midfielder's first Premiership goal for 16 months. But sloppy Liverpool defending on the half hour, first by Hupia, then by an overcommitted Jersey Dudek, allowed Graham Stewart to set up Kevin Lisby for a Charlton equaliser. Four minutes before the break, a hesitant Dudek gave away a corner from which Charlton took the lead. The Liverpool keeper spilled Bartlett's shot into the path of Lisby, who claimed his and Charlton's second. But five minutes after the interval, Chris Perry held back Heskey in the box. Michael Owen dispatched the penalty to make it two apiece. Dean Kiley made excellent saves from Kuehl and Heskey before the Charlton goalkeepers throw out set up the winning goal eight minutes from time. Lisby left Steve Finn in trailing, then produced a stunning finish to claim his first hat-trick of his senior career, the perfect response to the Charlton fans who'd been booing him recently for a lack of goals. It was a bit difficult. Uh, I thought I'd end my career, who knows, but um, it was a bit difficult for me with the fans getting on top of me, but I suppose they only want the best out of me as well. We've got a lot of time for Kevin. Um, but he hasn't got the, the goals he des his play deserves. And, uh, you know, they're looking for a scapegoat every now and then, aren't they, fans? Losing today is beyond me, really, because uh, we scored a goal, we were in control of the game and made some silly mistakes. And uh, But we, we've just got to blame ourselves. I mean, we let ourselves down today. While others gave Lisby a pat on the back, Paolo Di Canio preferred to pat elsewhere. Lisby's confidence no longer at rock bottom. Fraser Robertson, Sky Sports. No, Tottenham's a big club, isn't it? Um, got some good players there, so I'm, I'm sure he'd be happy managing a side like Tottenham, but I wouldn't blame him for going if he did. Ever since I've been there, he's been there, so um, I'd, I'd, I'd like him to stay. The talk over Kerbishley's future didn't deflect too much attention away from Charlton's hat trick hero. It's been a tough opening few months of the season for Kevin Lisby, but he certainly enjoyed his afternoon out yesterday. They gave me about 45 minutes before they started. <laughs> Um, booing me or whatever, but um, no, nah, I just, I just let it, um, let it slide and go on with my game and worked hard at training and hopefully it will turn around. What's it like for a player when people get on your back? Um, at first it's a bit upsetting, and then but after a while you you just start thinking to yourself like everyone everyone goes through it at one time in their career, so you just got to get on with it. it's part of being a footballer. And it wasn't just the crowd that enjoyed his performance. Uh, I don't think you want to know what the Kenya was saying to me. Yeah. I don't think I could tell you that. No, he just he was just saying um we're done like because he worked hard in training. And I tried to um tried to copy him in training like to try and work as hard as he does. Um, so he was just he was just saying we're done. In his own special way. In his own special way. <laughs> it could be the start of an exciting few months for Lisby. He's hoping Kirbishley will be there to guide him through it. Gail Davis, Sky Sports. Marcel O'Neill has refused. To Plenty's been said about a new, apparently more adventurous Liverpool. So when Vladimir Smitscher broke free from midfield onto Harry Kuehl's defence splitter, some at the Valley were undoubtedly fearing the worst. A splendid pass from the Australian to pick out the check, unchecked. It all looked far too easy. But the attacking culture won't do Gerard Houllier's team any good if they forget what to do at the back. Three simple passes and Charlton were very nearly level. Kevin Lisby wondering if he'd get any more chances that good. Well, thanks to Sammy Hupia, he did. Scott Parker seized on the slack clearance and Lisby was away. The 24-year-old suffered more than his fair share of flack from the stands, but no one could fault the quality of his touch this time. It seemed the striker had a psychological edge now in the battle with Hupia. The heavyweight defender brushed aside by his lightweight opponents. Liverpool grateful to Jetsy Dudek. Could have been a hat-trick already, but no matter, the opportunities kept coming. Klaus Jensen's free kick and Sean Bartlett's leap somehow distracted Dudek into conceding a very costly corner. The entire Liverpool team dropped into defensive formation, yet there were still red shirts unmarked. Notably Bartlett and then Lisby, making a good job of turning Terry's opinion in his favour. Liverpool, as they had to, stepped up their efforts in the second half and Emil Heskey came out the winner in a wrestling match with Chris Perry. Eyes on the ball from both, but it was the arm round the shoulder which made up the mind of referee Rob Stiles. Michael Owen stroked in the penalty with the confidence expected of England's number one striker. On the bench, Gerard Houllier was anticipating a third, almost delivered by Harry Kuehl. Dean Kiley's stop was good, this next one even better as Heskey's shot took a dastardly deflection. 
Kewell picked up the scraps to give Danny Murphy a long, hard look at the target. The hands were safe again. By now, Charlton would probably have settled for a point, but Lisby wasn't finished with his personal crusade. Steve Finnan's challenge was feeble, but at least it was a challenge. Nobody else bothered. Lisby had himself a match ball to keep. He knew it was in from the moment it left his foot. A helpless pole defending one goal, a helpful post defending the other. Kewell conjured up one last-ditch moment of magic. But the home win was in the bag, Charlton's first this season. It's beyond me how we lost that game because uh, we created enough chances to win it twice. I think we just, and, and it's been brilliant for us, really. When was the last hat-trick you scored? Reserve team came quite a while ago, so I, I can't remember. It's been a while, but... I've not scored a single hat trick, so it's always good to get one against Liverpool as well. The team is very adventurous, they like to go forward. You can't blame them for that. But at times we have to also to uh, do the defensive duty. Any friends and family here to see you? Yeah, yeah, I've got um I've got my my wife here and three of my friends and my little baby. So they they must they must think this happens every week at Charlton. Yeah, well <laughs> you never know, this this um their first one, some of them, so you know, I mean they're probably upstairs drunk now waiting for me. <laughs> 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 Did it take a while to get the Lisbys out of the valley last night? <laughs> <laughs> They're the last to leave, don't yeah, they like that when you finish? That's how they really enjoyed this. Yeah. Great day for Kevin. Well, it absolutely. Before, well, I was going to say we, me and Ron fret about what happened to the team that got beat. Credit, of course, to your team and in particular Kevin. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, I played in the first game of the season against Man City. You know, I've got a lot of faith in him. He knows that he's just not scored enough goals mm. and uh, they live and die by you know, Strangely, because the, 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 the Charlton fans don't often get on the back of players, he got a bit of stick off, yeah, off but, your fans. Yeah, but I think one of the main reasons is because I brought some high-profile high right. players into the club. You know, Why is he playing when we've got yeah. Pallet Canny on the bench? Yeah, sort of and thing. Jason Yaw, yeah. Carlton Cole, yeah. and uh, you know, it, that, that has an effect and we haven't been winning. Mm. But uh, Kevin Lisby gives everything for 90 minutes mm. and uh, the players really appreciate him. Um, you know, he's, a, he's a team player. Uh, but as I say, if he can just add a few more goals, and a lot of the, goal, a lot of the chances he has are self created yeah, yeah, carves them out for himself. Yeah, is is perhaps finishing the part of the game he needs to improve on? Did you think there was a hat trick in him if he could see where the goal was? A couple. We're hoping it's all going to come out. I mean, <clears> yeah. obviously, confidence is a wonderful thing, and he must be flying high at the moment. But you know, the boys will tell you. You know, hopefully he's broke it now, and, and we'll go on. But uh, he's still got to work hard. I don't I hope he's not sitting indoors now and and thinking he's arrived, and I'm sure he isn't, because he's got to keep working at everything he does. He looks, you, go on, Rob. Sorry, he just looks like one of those strikers to me who, when he's got time to think about it, probably doesn't make as many right yeah. decisions as the instinctive ones, and probably, you know... Funny enough, Robbie, and... I said that to him in the week, that you know, most of the goals he scored have been instinctive. He's, yeah. he's, he's just had to do it straight away and, and not think too much about it. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Some of the chances he's had where there's a bit of time, yeah. um, he's, he's had a bit of a problem with. But Does that maybe go for most strikers? Well, pe people looking at his goals there, on the, I, I, we'd probably see his third goal was his best. But from a forward's point of view, I liked his first two. His first yeah, one was yeah. a great little finish, and his second one was a real striker's goal, you know? Mm. So Poached. It, exactly, you know, and yeah. they've got confidence from that. There's no doubt about that. But the biggest thing about him as well is, is that he brings people into the game. He works ever so hard for the team. And, you know, I'm not sitting there saying I want my strikers to get me 15 goals or 20. Give me 10, Kev. Give me 12. Mm. You know, that'll do me because someone else will chip in at that amount. Well, you talked about confidence. Chance for Lisby against Dudek! He's taken it! Now Jensen delivers the corner. Hartler got it well, so did Bishkan. Headed back in by Fish and out by Heskey and then back in by Bishkan! Heskey was being held, I thought, and so did referee Styles more significantly. It's a penalty. 2-2. Two -two. Kewell. Too close to the keeper, obviously. Just look how open this football match is. It's incredible, isn't it? One moment Liverpool attacking, the next moment Charlton are at their throat. There they go with Lisby, what a run. Kewell for Liverpool, they haven't finished yet. And brilliant play by Harry Kewell, can he finish? Oh, outside of the post! Oh, well, we've had everything, haven't we, in this football match? He's still grinning. Um, 
first of all, you've got to tell us, the first game of the season, Manchester City, everyone was booing Kevin Lisby. Were you? Uh, yes, I confess I was. And if Kevin is watching, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, me, along with the other 24,000, I think we've just seen him. He's had so much ability for 10, well, yeah, five, six years. He's so quick. You just want him to do it. But in the end, he's 24 and he wasn't doing it. Um, a striker's got to score goals. And he wasn't scoring goals. One in 10, I think, his career. Shocked as, as much as anyone yesterday. Stunned even. Did you but deserve fantastic. to win that match? Well, yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think mean, I'm a bit fed up with the media the last two days sort of saying how badly Liverpool played. Um, what about us? Our midfield, Jensen and uh, Parker dominated superstar Gerrard. Um, Owen got one touch, dodgy penalty, he says. <laughs> no, OK, it was a penalty. <laughs> All right, it was a penalty. All right. Um, you know, if I only scored that goal in Lisby, well, everyone would have gone mental. Not, oh, the defence was bad. Let's give us some praise. You know? OK, well, let's praise the team that he supports and look at Kevin Lisby's hat-trick against Liverpool at the Valley. Alan Smith, just uh, tell us a little bit about this from a striker's point of view. Well, I think he'd be delighted with this one. I mean, the keeper's come out and made up his mind for him slightly, but it's a great finish. I don't know what Sammy Hoop here was just trying to find John Reese and conceded possession. And that gets the ball rolling. I think, in many ways, this one he'd be most pleased about because it's a striker's goal and these are the kind that he's really got to pick up if he's going to uh, increase that goal ratio just in the right place. And uh, the two either side were quite spectacular, but just feeding off that knockdown. And, uh, but when last did you see this? A, 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 an opponent running at a Liverpool team half the length of the pitch and not one Liverpool player engaging him. And Kevin Lisby's flying at that point. And... Uh, Really enjoying, really enjoying the match. But, I mean, Liverpool's midfield is interesting for me. I mean, they've got Harry Kuehl, Vladimir Smitsa, El Hadjouf, three players.